Should the Los Angeles Chargers pursue Tom Brady this coming offseason? So welcome to Sports Talk with Troy, where I may or may not be an expert. But I am a longtime fan with informed and knowledgeable opinion. If you like what you hear on Sports Talk with Troy, please give the channel a subscription. It really helps out a lot. Also, don't forget to like the video as well and hit the bell notification to be informed of the next videos coming out. Anyways, should the Chargers pursue Tom Brady this offseason? A little context. The past few years, the end of each football season, there seems to talk that this will be Tom Brady's last year or his last year in New England at the very least. And of course, he always comes back. And my intuition is that if Tom Brady is going to be playing NFL in 2020, it's most likely to be with New England, despite of everything we keep hearing. Because he always goes back to New England. I understand he's got a contract that's up, so he's a free agent. I know there's been some risk to him and, him and Belichick that's been well documented. It's also been well documented that he wants to play until he's 45. I think he's 42. Don't hold me to that. Um, I gotta look that up. But again, every year it seems like there's these questions around he's gonna be back, but he, he comes back and he comes back to New England. And even though I think this year it's most believable that he'll be somewhere else maybe, and possibly Los Angeles, I guess I'm saying I, I think if he comes back he'll be in New England, but it's more believable this year than any other year, in my opinion, that he might play somewhere else. That brings us to the Los Angeles Chargers and their perspective. A couple seasons ago, the Rams moved back from St. Louis to Los Angeles, started playing games at LA Coliseum. And of course the Rams, because they were the LA Rams for a long time, playing first in the Coliseum and then later at Anaheim Stadium, and always had the, the Rams or the, the Los Angeles identification, kind of were able to reestablish himself as the the LA team and the Chargers moved at the same time from San Diego to Los Angeles started playing games at um, Dignity Health Park this name of the stadium now it used to be a step up center in Carson California which is really closer to Long Beach and Northern Orange County than it is to Los Angeles as far as I can recall and even though the Chargers start off as the LA Chargers back in the 60s in the old AFL they've always been identified as a San Diego team and a lot of times when teams move cities, that fan base, the local fan base, doesn't really follow the team. Follow the team. With the Rams also moving to LA at the same time, having more of a Los Angeles identification than the Chargers actually playing in Los Angeles, they became Los Angeles football team, and the Chargers became kind of an afterthought. You know. The joke is that, you know, every Chargers game is a road game because there's oftentimes more of a fan base for the opposing team at a Charger home game than there are Charger fans. And a Charger can really use something that can even or even flip the dynamic because both the Rams and Chargers are going to be sharing a new stadium in Inglewood starting next season. And... Well, I personally think that the Chargers should consider somewhere else to play in the future. Next season, they're going to be playing in, in, in that stadium, new stadium, and probably for the foreseeable future as well in reality. And so they're going to need to do something to gain a fan base. So why not try to attract the sport's biggest name in Tom Brady, if he's not the biggest name, he's one of the biggest names in Tom Brady to finish out his career with them and maybe draw some interest in the team with Tom Brady as a quarterback. I personally think that pursuing Tom Brady because of his name recognition, because he's probably still has something, something left, even if he doesn't decline, could make the Chargers a, a playoff contender and it could draw draw interest in the in the team but it also may be 
a short-term solution for a, a long-term problem. Here's the thing. The Chargers may have opportunity to draft a good quarterback in this coming, upcoming draft. I'm pretty sure that Joe Burrows will be off the board for sure by the time they get to him. But depending on the evaluation on uh, Tua Tagonanova, he may be available, uh, Justin Herbert may be available, and Jalen Hurts <clears throat> may be available by the time they pick. And <clears throat> as much as I'm trying to stay away from the question of will Tom Brady go to the Chargers, it has to be in the, in the consideration, and I, I don't believe he's going to want to be a mentor for a young quarterback. So for most of his career in New England, there hasn't really been a, a next guy up backup player on the Patriots roster. You know, of course, they had Jacoby Brissett and Jimmy Garoppolo, and they were both traded away rather quickly. And this tells me that he's not interested in being a, a, a mentor, and I can't say I blame him. If he, if he feels he's still a starting caliber quarterback, then I can't blame him. But from that perspective, in order to acquire Tom Brady, the Chargers may have to pass on a quarterback with a lot of potential and a lot of long-term potential in this upcoming draft in order to get him. So here's my take. Acquiring Tom Brady would immediately make the Chargers a playoff contender and by making the playoff contender and by having Tom Brady and team would draw interest in the Chargers and would help them build a fan base. So according to Tom Brady, it would pay off right away. There is a however, and the however is, of course, it would mean that they would likely have to pass on a long-term franchise quarterback, or at least a potential long-term franchise, franchise quarterback in order to convince Tom Brady to, to join the Chargers because Tom Brady is, is going to have options besides the Patriots and the Chargers. The question for the Chargers is, is do they want to have immediate returns or, or long-term long -term returns? Again, I think the, the question for the Chargers is, is they, are they looking for a, a short-term solution or long-term solution? Because again, I believe that if they acquire Tom Brady in this upcoming, uh, excuse me, this upcoming off season, they'll be a playoff contender and they'll draw interest in, in, the, in the team that's greatly needed. But it, it may be at the cost of long-term success. Like I said, I think to acquire Tom Brady, they're going to have to pass up on a potential long-term franchise quarterback in this draft. My personal opinion is I understand going for Tom Brady. I understand that it's not a bad decision in the grand scheme of things, but I think it'd be a better decision to acquire a long-term franchise quarterback in the draft who I think will be available for them. I just feel that trying to create a team that can win long-term, particularly in a major market like Los Angeles, is the way to go in trying to build a, a fan base, especially when you're competing with you know, another team in your area. That's my take. I'm curious in your take. Please let me know in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video, Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you so much for watching. And as usual and always, I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. Again, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and we'll talk soon.